Today I got a great one for you. We're out on the ponds. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I'd appreciate it if you can help support the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you find value in this video, hit that like button, share it with some friends. What we got for you today is a one versus one fishing challenge. I'm collaborating again with Michael Rigo from Arigo Outdoor Adventures. We have live bait only, minnows and worms. We're gonna see who, uh, who could put more in the bucket. Stay tuned. Okay, as you know, we're doing a one-on-one -on -one challenge. Mike here from Arigo Outdoor Adventures versus Jim from East Tennessee Leo. There are the rules. We have one pole set up with a slip bobber and a simple Aberdeen hook. We're gonna be putting a minnow on that, preferably catching bass with it. And then the other pole is a 30 second jig head with just a bobber. And we're gonna see who catches the most. Here we go, Papa. <laughs> Guys, the number one thing when fishing is just to have fun, no matter what. Have fun with it. That's the whole point of fishing. If it's not fun, yep. why bother? Go, Got him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, that is the monster of the day. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, one nothing, you're winning. <laughs> I don't know if that's how I want to win. But, look at that, y'all. If I hold him closer, he might look bigger. Hey, Mikey. Don't be jealous, man. Don't be jealous. That's why they couldn't get the minnow in their mouth. They're a minnow themselves. The key is to figure out where they're at, what they want to eat, and then, you know, and of course, you know, that has to do with depth, presentation, all that. Um, then, once you've done all that, hope that there's one that wants to bite. Okay. What you got, a bluegill? Oh, you got another little bass. Look at that. <laughs> okay, guys, check that out. <laughs> I think we're in the nursery. Right? That's funny stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Right through the schnoz. Poor little guy. That's one to one. Yep. <laughs> Worms two, middle zero. <laughs> All right. Well, there's healthy population of baby fish. Well, what I'm waiting for is one of those big old, super cold, super thick, East Tennessee pond bass to absolutely just annihilate one of these baits. And what I'm hoping, and since I, it's a fishing challenge, is, is I want my the bass. I want to catch it, Mike. Mm -hmm. But I want it to run through all your lines <laughs> so that, <laughs> that it takes you out of the water. Good old catfish. Oh, great. <laughs> right? Okay, guys. We only caught those two little bass on the last pond. We're going to try a different spot, see what happens. There it is. It's on there. Got him? Yep. Okay, y'all. Oh, nice. That's a nice one. Oh, Flip them on up here. There, there you go. go. All right. Oh, hooked him good right through the nose. There we go. All right. Mikey is now up on top. Two to one. Two to one. Okay, little buddy. Whoa, Ooh. careful. Yeah, yep. it's pretty muddy. Nice. Very nice. On a worm? Yep. How deep? Uh, I'm like four, four, almost five foot deep. Way down there. Yep. Guys, Mikey is destroying me. Is. All right, is that one going in the fish fry? Pretty small. Uh, I think you're making up excuses so you don't have to flay any fish. Oh, there we go. Got him. Hold oh, your other one. Got him. Oh, and that's a better fish. There, there we go. What is that? 3 2 now? 4 2. There it is, y'all. 
Look at that stripe. All right. Let's go show Mikey's camera. Yep. That's a pretty bass, Carl. Right? Okay. I'll let you go. Go get bigger. Actually, go bite my other hook. Really what I need you to do. Now, Mike, the thing we didn't talk about was like, it's a one versus one challenge. Is there any, like, is there a prize? I'm thinking the uh, winner gets 50 bucks of Jeff's money. <laughs> and then the loser has to accompany the winner to a steak dinner and watch them eat the steak that Jeff's going to pay for. What do you guys think about that? Leave a comment down below if you think uh, Jeff should pay the winner $50 and then buy the loser lunch as well as why he watches the winner eat a steak dinner. So Jeff, get your wallet bit ready, buddy. Either way, looks like you're about to pay someone something. You already got a fish. Yep. A little baby. <laughs> yeah, but you got a fish. As soon as you throw it in. At this rate, we're going to starve to death. <laughs> no, because if if you were doing a survival fishing challenge, people... Survival, I would be... All, all these fish were big enough to keep. All right. Unlike what his Dallas Cowboys do on a regular basis, Mikey is laying the whipping down on me. <laughs> Let's move to the next spot. So it's 4-2, right? Dang it. <laughs> Y'all, I gotta catch up to this man. His pride is at stake. I I don't have any pride, so and I sure as heck don't have a steak. Steak, that sounds good. Oh, sounds like that's what we need to have. Mike, your orange one. That's a bass, you got him. Set the hook. And bring him away from the brush. Oh, you pulled him out of the water. Look at that. <laughs> That's a big one there. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Bass Masters Elite Series. <laughs> wow. You sure that's not the Bass Masters Delete series? Like, like delete that from your, your, your video? Fish are biting. Yes, they are. People, see these antics this man's doing? Do not try this at home. Don't do it. Well, I caught one, such as it is. <laughs> Excited there. Got him. You got him? There we go. Right. On the board, y'all. Well, it's not in yet. Oh, that's a bass. Five to three. Right. Make it a comeback. All right, y'all. There we go. Five, three. I think I have a fish. I could be wrong. All right, just a very active minnow. I got a fish. Absolutely, I got a fish. 5-4, y'all. I got to get it on the bank. <laughs> Strategically relocate where I'm fishing. I don't know if you saw. That made it 5-4, and then Mike turned around and just caught another one. Because, you know, he can't let anyone have any joy when they're fishing. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, the challenge continues. And just like that, that quickly, we're getting you guys some action. Let's see if we can't do it again. <sighs> wow. Are you kidding me? There's no way. 
<sighs> well, y'all, I'm down to one pole. This is this is what fishing is really like. Anybody. The the yeah, only way lines. this is the only way Mike's gonna beat me. Now, what's Fish what's funny? Hold on, turn that camera back around here. I ain't done ranting. What's funny is Mike has two poles and a two fish lead. If I come back and beat him, taking him behind the woodshed and giving him a proper East Tennessee beating, okay? I just mean competitive fish beating, okay? If I beat him with one less pole, okay? Then you the man. No, then he's buying me a steak. I'm just saying that. But if I go off of what's been happening, that beating ain't gonna occur. Guys, that is uh, seven to four. See, look at that. He's already running with it. You hit me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got him that time. Seven to five, y'all. Seven to five. Just a baby. But we said size doesn't matter. Well, there's a nice, healthy population of young ones, so that's good. That's not what I came for, for y'all. <laughs> Did you already get that? You eat your heart out. Well, you got to start somewhere. Uh, if you're two, that might be where you want to start. Uh, hey, catching a fish is catching a fish. You just got to have fun with it. Right? There we go. Got him. Oh, and that's a nicer bass. Come on, come on. Get off of the branch. Get off of the branch. Of course. Get off of the branch. Come on. No way. Yes. <laughs> Dude, that's the big one of the day. Look at that. Now you know this does mean I have to try to catch one more to at least tie you, right? Because you know, over here at East Tennessee Leo, we don't go out like that. Guys, that's the big one of the day. However, we're not going off size, we're going off of numbers. And look at the size of that mouth. Beautiful. Look how thick. If we were keeping any fish today for a yep. fish fry, which be, we thought about, that would be, would be some good eating. what you'd want. However, we haven't kept any to this point and I don't think we're gonna catch enough. So I'm gonna put this one back. If I catch one fish, it'll be tied 7-7. Seven, seven. I get to try for one more, so does Mikey. But if he catches one before I can tie him up, that is ball game. Okay, two minute warning. Yeah. Last cast. Last cast. Can I tie it up? Do I have a chance? <laughs> 